welcome to this short primer on how to cook in the long dark. We're in the camp office on the Mystery Lake map. We've got a little fire going in the pot-bellied stove. There are two cooking implements you can use here. There's a cooking pot or a reclaimed can. So if I press on the triangle button to so call up my main menu, and then go down to tools, and you will see that I've got a cooking pot up there, and I've got a recycled can down there. I'm going to press X on the cooking pot. R2 to cook, and it's gone on the stove. Then if I highlight it, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to melt some snow in this case. It's given me the option of doing half a litre, and I can just use the left and right arrows to bring that up to a maximum of two litres if I want to. That's an hour's cook, let's go down to one litre. To cook, all I have to do is press X. Now the game has filled the, the pot with snow. So we don't have to bother about collecting the snow. We've just got to wait for it to melt. So we've got cooking 28 minutes till it's melted. We've got plenty of time on the uh, on the stove there. Got one hour 24. If I want to speed this up, I can press X again, and then I can press Square to pass the time, and that just accelerates the process. So the snow has melted, but this is non-potable water. So this will give me food poisoning if I drank it now. What I have to do is wait for it to boil, which is 28 minutes away. Again, I can check the time on the stove. Got 55 minutes there. Again, I can press X, then press square to pass the time. And lovely. Now, if I left this for another 45 minutes, it would just boil dry. So what I have to do is press X, and I can either leave it, drink it, or take it. And I will take it in this case, and the pot empties magically. So let's just take that pot. So I Press X to select it. I can press square to pick it up. I'll just put some more fuel in there. So I've pressed X to select the fire. And I'm going to stick in some reclaimed wood. Now the other thing you can use apart from cooking pots is reclaimed tins. Every time you use a tin in the game, the old empty tin will go into your inventory. So you're never really sure of recycled tins. There's normally some lying around. I can't see any. What I'll do, I'll go back to my main menu, go down here. I will press triangle to drop that. So that's now gone on the floor. What I can do is select it using L2. Bring it over to the stove. R2 to cook. So there's two ways of selecting items. If you find them lying around in the real world, you, you can highlight them, press L2 to pick them up and position them on the stove, or you can put them into your inventory and then select them from there. The tin's on the fire and we treat it exactly the same way as the cooking pot. Let's check the stove, see how much fuel we've got. We've got 58 minutes worth. For the can, the maximum is half a litre. So we press X to cook. Let's pass the time. We've got 90 minutes there. 37 on the stove. Let's pass the time. And let's drink it this time. Very good. Let's put some moss wood in there. Put some cedar firewood. Now the other thing you can cook in here are things like pork and beans and tomato soup. So for example, if I wanted to cook up this dusty tomato soup, I just select it on the menu here, press X. I'm opening the tin. And that empty tin is going into my inventory. Uh, it's warming up 15 minutes already. You've got more than enough fuel in there. So press X again, pass the time, square button, and then I can eat it. Let's take that tin. Again, I selected it, pressing X, square to pick up. Right, let's do some outdoor cooking now. We're at a new location. This is the Carter Hydro Dam. We're still on the Mystery Lake map. I've come here because there's a frozen deer carcass that I'm going to try and harvest. If I highlight it, right, the carcass is more than 50% frozen and I can't use my bare hands to take it to bits. I haven't got a knife or a hatchet, unfortunately, at this stage of the game. But what I can do is try and defrost it. So if I place a fire quite close to it, and then start this up. Again, we've got a choice of fuels, wood matches, tinder plugs. Let's just do that. 
book. Uh, I've got some accelerant. Yeah, let's let's save time and use the accelerant. In this case, it's lamp oil, and that's given me a hundred percent chance of success. If you look at the top right of the screen there, so if I just press X to start the fire. Looks like it worked. Yep, and then let's put in some fuel. So that's giving us an hour and sixteen minutes. And that is 97% frozen. It was 100% before, I'm sure. Oh, it's gone down to 96. So we just have to wait till that defrosts a little bit. Right, well, it's taken a little while, but now the, the deer carcass is 48% frozen. So if I select it with X, I'm getting the option of what to take from it. If you look on the left-hand side, you've got the meat at the top. And I can decide whether to take half a kilo, a kilo... Or the whole thing. There's one unit of hide I could take. And there's guts. And guts are quite useful for making bowstrings and snares, etc. So they're quite handy. We're interested in the meat in this instance. So let's just take a kilo of meat. Oh, it's going to take me an hour and ten minutes. Unfortunately. Uh, let's go back. I think the fire will go out. Yeah. Let's put some more. Let's put some more wood on there. And let's select some meat again. Right, okay. And it's only going to take me 30 minutes now. I think it's defrosted a bit more. Anyway, let's strip out a kilogram of meat. Super. Now, if I go to my food and drink menu, you'll see the meat there. And I can either eat it now, which will kill me, because I'll get food poisoning. Or I can drop it. And I'm going to drop it with the um, triangle. There it is on the ground. If I select it now and go L2. Then put it on one of these two stones. These exterior fires have these two flat stones for cooking on. And if I just put it on the right hand side one there and then go R2. That'll start cooking. If I highlight it again. It's 56 minutes that it's ready. That's got an hour and 49, which is nice. The other thing I'll do while I'm here is I'll go back to the main menu, go back to my tools, and I will select a recycled tin. And I'll put it on the other on the other stone to melt some snow. That's half a litre, that's the maximum. Let's cook it with the X. So the game has filled that little with snow. It's now 18 minutes that it's melted. We've got loads of time with that fire. That, that raw venison is cooking away. Let's select the tin and then press X again and square to pass the time. So that the snow is melted but I still can't drink it. Let's press X again, pass the time. Another 19 minutes has passed. I can now select X and either take it, drink it or leave it. Um, in this case, I will drink it. I'm quite thirsty. Might as well fill that up again. Cook. It's doing its business. Right, eight minutes till that's ready. If I press X, again I can pass the time. And that's cooked. And again, I can take it, eat it or leave it, and I will eat that. And that's a good meal for me. Lovely, very nice. Now there's three types of fresh food or mouldy food in this case, that you can eat. You can either kill deer or harvest these carcasses, or you can catch fish in the lake. Uh, they're on various maps. There are either fishing lakes or, or fishing huts on the seashore, or there's rabbits that you can either hunt or snare. And they're all cooked the same way. You have to harvest them uh, and then drop the meat and then put it onto either the stone on the campfire or you can do it indoors on a stove. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. Hope to see you again, and until I do, I shall say goodbye. Okay, cheerio.